I'm Julie Bartke with Session Update. On Wednesday, in the Senate State and Local Government Committee, members took up a bill that would ban electronic cigarettes from public spaces and also from selling them to minor. It was the first provision that was the controversial one. Can you tell me, is there any um, scientific proof that it affects the non, uh, those around the vapor? I agree more research is needed, but we do know from a number of studies that there have been found nicotine in the vapor as well as toxic compounds um, and heavy metals. So in terms of the degree of harm, I can't speak to that, but there are, I will say the vapor that is emitted, it's not just water vapor, and we're still trying to figure out exactly what it is. If someone's smoking a tobacco cigarette versus an e-cigarette, is it just as bad? or is it a better product, health-wise? Sanderson. Sanderson. <laughs> um, Chair Pappas, uh, Senator Hall, um, I'll refer to what Ms. Moylan said in her uh, testimony, that there is certainly a wealth of data that we still need to gather on these products. Um, I think from a tobacco prevention, my background in tobacco prevention, um, we've set a clear standard for clean indoor air in our community, and that standard is not uh, set at uh, secondhand tobacco smoke it's set at clean indoor air and these products may fall somewhere in between there but they certainly uh, have an impact on the clean indoor air of the standard that we've set for the past seven years in our state you know that there are those that uh, as been stated uh, would let anybody do whatever they wanted to do until we were absolutely certain that what was happening was harmful the government has at the end the public does have an interest in being protected from the the harm and to not ask the public to take a risk on a product that has in it a substance that is toxic and in, in a product that has a capsule in it that can contain a variety of substances none of which we know whether or not it's being vaped into the general public air or not and that the failure for us to have assurances because we don't, we don't have the regulation, we don't know what's in there. To ask the general public to take a risk on that, I think would be the irresponsible action. If, if there's no basis, no scientific basis, no basis whatsoever for acting in this case, then there really is an unlimited ability for us to regulate anything with preemption. The burden is always on government to prove harm or risk of harm before acting, or at least it should be. I think if the, there isn't, then there's no limitation. No, I think Ma the burden is on the industry to prove there's no harm before we legalize it. We, we respectfully disagree, Madam Chair. Again, members passed the bill. If you'd like to view the entire committee online, you can go to senate.mn media.